Schmidt, we are based in Germany. Uh, today we would uh, like to talk about our project called uh, uh, this pattern collection. Uh, this is a collection, uh, collection of design patterns for smart contracts and it consists of the coding patterns and their descriptions for smart contract development. Uh, it currently also supports ERC and smart contract weakness classification uh, registry. And as most of the developers know, the design, uh, the design patterns is very important to the, that development, not only for uh, coding efficiency, but also uh, uh, to avoid non vulnerability when uh, developing a secure system. And in my experience, I found that there are a lot of design patterns on the internet spreading around the, on the internet, but it has been gathered into the one place uh, as a reference resource, like, uh, for example, like design patterns by the demo four. That's making the design patterns uh, hard to find. Uh, we missed this resource in our project to, uh, uh, to be the entry point for looking into all those design patterns that you can find for all skill levels of developers, and also to create uh, uh, organize a community to improve those design patterns to, uh, together the one place. So now we're looking into the uh, repository, uh, 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 project repository. Uh, so there are three things involved. So the left column in this picture is the pattern resource. It can be uh, the blog post, uh, ESC cell, or uh, smart contacts uh, weakness classification and stuff, but we can also even create a uh, pull request directly to our repository. Uh, the main column is the uh, component that, uh, included on, in our project. Uh, the format that creates the uh, one JSON up, uh, output and a uh, human readable resource like a markdown output out of the design pattern resource. The left column, uh, right column is client that could, uh, that uh, reads the JSON file for whatever use. So we're going to explain one of the clients developed by Heiko, it's called Peer. Yeah, like I had mentioned, we can use the JSON output um, for dev tools and um, yeah, we work on like a plugin for one dev tool, it's called Pete. Um, PEAT is a tool to uh, analyze and interact with smart contract structures. So that's how it looks like. And um, now if you click on this icon, you will see a list of all the patterns we imported. They are organized by tags, so if you filter for the security tag, you will see all uh, patterns which are uh, related to security. So I will now select the state machine pattern. Um, on the right side, you now can see an example implementation of this pattern. In the middle, um, you can see a text describing this pattern. It always uh, has an abstract uh, problem, solution, reference uh, um, section, and uh, there are comments where you can discuss something about this pattern. So if you see some disadvantages, also you can leave a comment. And on top, you see a graph representing uh, the contracts involved in this pattern. If you select one, you see on the left side uh, the structure of this uh, contract. And to understand it better, you can also deploy the example and play around with it. So now I will deploy it by clicking on this button. Now this contract has an address. And um, you can also read the state variables. And you can also send transactions like this now. And yeah. Now the stage should have changed, and yes, it changed. And yeah, that's it already. If you want to get involved, um, you can make a pull request. Thank you.